Now that you have submitted your app for review, you will need to complete the unlisted app request form. You'll start out with your name, email and organisation which should be pre-filled for you based on your login details and you'll need to select which type of organisation will use your app. Include the app name and the Apple ID of the app and now confirm that you have submitted your app to the App Store for review by selecting yes in the following drop down. You'll need to describe in detail the business problem that your app solves and why unlisted app distribution helps solve this and provide any specific examples. Moving on, you'll need to confirm why do you prefer your app to be unlisted over public distribution to the App Store. This needs to be a valid reason to enable Apple to approve your app. And you'll need to confirm why you prefer to have an unlisted app over private distribution to a specific organisation such as Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. You'll need to confirm whether your app will be distributed internally, externally to partners and or customers or both by selecting the checkboxes that apply. You should also confirm the expected number of users for this app and how many organisations, for example businesses or schools, that will use the app. Next up, choose who your app is designed for and select all that apply and which category best describes your app. You should confirm will your app be distributed to managed devices, unmanaged devices or both by selecting all that apply and in what regions will your app be available. Please note that unlisted apps must be ready for final distribution and submitted for review. Requests for apps in beta or pre-release state will be declined and then select the box below to confirm that you understand the terms and conditions set out here. Once you've completed this form, you should click submit and Apple will review your app to provide you with the unlisted link.